George, I came as quickly as I could. Nico, oh thank God. Now, I figured out how to escape from this cell. I've spent the last few hours constructing a rope ladder of sorts from the mattress and bed parts. I just need you to distract the guards while I loosen the window bars with a crowbar which I've fashioned from a loose pipe. It came away from the wall when I managed to unscrew the bracket with a pen that I took from the edge of the guard's desk using a long hook I made from uncoiling a couple of bed springs. Once I've taken the bars out of the window, I'll use the rope ladder to climb down onto the ledge below. I can then use the washing line to zip wire across onto the balcony of the apartment opposite the jacket. And from there, I can shimmy down the drain pipe into the alley below. Now, the alley is gated. And it looks like it's padlocked. So I'll need to pick the lock with this hair clip I found under the bed. You can then meet me at the gate in about 15 minutes. Oh yeah, that was amazing. I see. Or, I have my own idea. You could just walk out of here. I've just paid your bail. Huh. Okay. A little less exciting, but sure, why not? Against my better judgment, you are now free to go, Monsieur Stobart. If you promise not to be a naughty boy. <sighs> okay. Very well. Now be on your way. I don't want to be seeing you in here again. You and me both, Inspector. Thanks, Nico. It's quite all right, George. You have done the same. Come on then, George. We should get going. We need to find the artist of the stolen painting. Do you think we should visit the Pizza Palace first? I already have. What? But I thought you said you'd come as quickly as you could. I couldn't let the trail go, called George. Well, that's just great. Were you even remotely concerned? I've been in there so long I've become institutionalized. Oh, don't be so dramatic, George. I'm not sure I'll survive on the outside now. Too much has changed. Uh, what, in three hours? Get a grip, George. Besides, it sounds like you were keeping yourself pretty entertained with their elaborate escape plan. Hey, that would have worked. Of course it would, George. So tell me, why couldn't you have just picked the cell lock with the hair grip and just walked out while I distracted the guards? Okay, my plan might have been slightly elaborate. Yes, it was. Anyway... When I got to the pizza palace, there was a policeman already questioning one of the delivery boys. Apparently, he was the one who was originally supposed to deliver the pizzas to the gallery. But when he was loading them to his moped, he was attacked and knocked unconscious. When he came to, his moped pizzas and even his pizza palace jacket had been stolen. Did he see who attacked him? No, he got him from behind and there was no CCTV. Ah, oh, nuts. Did he find any clues? No, nothing. Damn it. Well, at least we know it wasn't just a disgruntled delivery boy that did it. Now we just need to find out what was so special about that painting. Okay, then. Let's go and see the artist. Did you get my pizza, by the way? Yes, I did. Great. I'm starving. So was I. I ate it. What? Oh, come on. I missed breakfast. Nico and I headed across Paris to the artist's studio. When we arrived, the place appeared to be an old converted warehouse. You still owe me the money for your bail, by the way. <sighs> I know. Plus 50% interest. Why don't you just take one of my kidneys? I'd much prefer the cash, George. There was a rusty old doorbell beside the main door. There was no response. Son of a... Stop breaking things. The doorbell started it. You wouldn't stop poking it. It's a doorbell. Oh, you need help, George. Sorry. It's been a rough day. Were you talking to me or the doorbell? Both. Hmm. I don't think he's here. We need to find a way in. You have a look round back. I'll check round here. There were some steps on the side of the building leading up to a small door. It was no good. The door was locked. I didn't want to break it open. Nico had forbidden me from breaking anything else. There was, however, a half-open window next to the door. I put my hand through and tried to open the window a little wider. Damn it! My sleeve snagged on a nail, and a scrap of my shirt material was torn off. Ah, I like this shirt. The window didn't want to budge, and it wasn't open enough for me to climb through yet, and I hadn't mastered the art of contortion enough to squeeze through such a tight gap. I decided to have another look around. I decided to search the trash cans. <laughs> oh, good God, the stench. My eyes are burning. I had no idea what was causing such an offensive smell, but I wasn't about to search through that trash can in a hurry. Instead, I turned my attention to the recycling box. There wasn't much in there, save for a couple of empty wine bottles and a nearly empty bottle of linseed oil. Apparently artists use the stuff to help mix oil paints. Yoink! This should come in handy. 
Using the scrap of material that was torn from my shirt, I managed to soak up the last few dregs of oil from the bottle. I then applied it to the window frame as liberally as I could. That ought to do it. The oil had acted as a lubricant, allowing me to open the window just enough for me to climb through. It was quite a drop, but with a bit of skillful maneuvering, I should be able to climb across into the mezzanine level. I think I found a way in. Where? Through this open window. I'm in. Do you think you could open the door for me? Uh, sure. Hang on. I think I might lay here for a while. Are you all right in there? Uh, I guess. Although I think I have an artist brush stuck up my... George, just, just open the door. I think I may need medical attention. My shoe flew off when I fell, and I'm pretty sure my foot was still in it. Psychiatric attention is what you need, George. Where's the light switch? Found it. Uh, on second thoughts, I'll let you turn it on. Not sure the wiring's up to scratch in here. Okay, George. Well, there's definitely nobody here. Yeah, look at this painting. It's half finished. Can't tell what it's supposed to be yet, though. His paintbrushes are still out, and there's still paint on them. He must have left in an hurry. The oil paint's dried, though. Looks like he's been gone at least a day. I wonder what the rush was. Yeah, and where did it go? Something strange is going off here, George. Is that yours, Nico? No, it must be the artist. Oh, look, over there. Should I answer it? Seems a little rude. Oh, but breaking and entering is perfectly acceptable behaviour. <laughs> all right, all right. Hello? Hello? Is that you, Philippe? I'm calling about my commission. Uh, no. The artist, I mean, Philippe. Isn't here right now. Can I take a message? Of course, darling. Could you please let him know that Clarissa Piermont called? Lady Piermont? Seriously? We've actually met before a few years ago. Do you remember George Stobart of the Hotel Ubu? Well, hello, George. Of course I remember you, darling. What on earth are you doing answering Philippe's phone? Well, I was looking for him, but it turns out he's deserted his studio. I'm worried that something might have happened to him. Oh my, that is very disconcerting news indeed. He was supposed to be coming here tomorrow evening to make a start on that portrait I've had commissioned. Really? Well, yes. I was just calling to confirm the details. Major Piermont, this may sound a little presumptuous, but would you mind if I came round to visit you tomorrow, when the artist is due to arrive? For you, George, anything. I'm actually rather looking forward to a good old reminisce. Thanks. That would be great. Whereabouts are you staying? Oh, I'm currently staying in York, darling, at the Royal Diamond Hotel. Room 107. Uh, okay. I uh, guess I'll see you tomorrow. Farewell, George. Bye. It turns out the artist is due to meet with Lady Piermont in England tomorrow. Do you think he'll show up? There's only one way to find out. Well, we'd better get packing. It appeared we'd discovered everything we could from here. For now, at least. We'd found out where the artist was due to be the next day. I just hoped he'd turn up.